Hey, what's going on guys? So welcome back in our Cyberpunk in Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series. Now in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add a character standing in front of this bus stop. So I know I already made a video about this showing you guys how to do it in blueprints, but I'm going to show you another way on how to do this with uh, actual animation mocap data. So that being said, Relusion actually released this website called Actor Core very recently. And right now, they're actually giving away some free motion capture. So if you go here in motion, you're going to see some free ones right here. And the one that we're going to be getting is the, where is it? Uh, walk while thinking. Now, I know I talked about how sometimes whenever you are in Unreal Engine 4 and you're loading animation here, you press play, the animation won't actually move. That's why we had to do a waypoint in my previous videos. But some animations out there are not binded in root motion. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I were to click this right here and it's going to load, you're going to see that this animation in mocap is actually walking through space. So that means that this member or this animation is actually going to move around and not be stuck in place. So whenever you're looking for animations or mocap stuff, make sure that if you need something to be moving, that they're actually moving. For example, this person right here is just walking in place. So if you want this person to move in Unreal Engine 4, uh, whenever you load it in the level itself, when you press play, it's not going to walk. So just to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at this here. Now the first thing we need to do is actually install the plugin for Unreal Engine 4. So to do that, it's pretty easy. I'm going to click right here, My Software. And I'm going to go ahead and download the auto setup. Now this is the same exact auto setup from iClone Unreal Engine 4 workflow. So if you already have it, then that's fine. So basically, if you don't, go ahead and download it and it should install on your computer. Okay, so after installation, this is where the installation installed that plugin. So you have Unreal 4.3 all the way to 4.26. Now this project I have right now was an older one is a 4.25 so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this I'm gonna copy it and then we're gonna go to the project folder all right and then in the project folder we're gonna go ahead and paste that okay so now it's gonna have plugins here now and then what you need to do after that is just go ahead and restart your Unreal Engine 4 let's go ahead and save everything first and then I'm gonna go ahead and restart it Okay, so we are back in Unreal Engine 4, and as you can see right here, CC setup, that plugin is enabled. So next thing we're going to do is go back to the root folder, and I'm going to create a folder here just titled CC, because I want to be able to just drag and drop the animations that we're downloading now. So, all right, so let's go back to uh, Actor Core, and let's go get some free mocap. I'm going to go back to this free and then, and it says, I don't know, if this is not free. It's only free up until March 31st. So go ahead and grab them. Let's go ahead and download this. And I'm going to do Unreal. And I already have the auto setup. And then I'm going to do, let me go ahead and export it with Mesh for now. And then I'm going to download it. All right, so here we are in my download folder. And it should be this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and extract it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now you're going to get two folders, the avatar, and you're going to get the actual animation itself, the walk and think. All right, so what we're going to do is just go to that folder and drag and drop the, we're going to do the skeleton first, which is the avatar. And let's go ahead and drag and drop that here. We're going to do a standard shader. It's okay. And then over here, we're going to leave the skeleton as blank because we actually want it to create its own skeleton. And then I'm going to go uh, animated time on this one. And then I'm going to click this down right here. And we're going to do use time zero as a reference post. So let's go ahead and click that one. And then that should be it. Let me go ahead and import. 
Okay, so the dummy or the skeleton is imported, so that's good. And then the next thing we're going to do is actually import the motion. So let's go ahead and drag and drop that here. And then for this one, since it's just an animation, we don't need any shaders for it. It's going to go ahead and automatically set up for the dummy or the skeleton, so you don't have to change that at all. All right, so I'm just making sure everything else is good here. Animated time is good. And then I'm going to go ahead and import Alright guys, so it looks like it's uh, been imported in Unreal Engine 4, so let's go ahead and maximize this, because we don't, we don't really need that folder there. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see if it worked. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this animation here, and then press play. <laughs> and then I'm way, the way, I'm way over here, so let me go ahead and zoom in. And as you can see right there, the animation is pretty much moving in space, which is what we want. And that's really cool. That's some high quality mocap stuff right there. So that's 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 working. So that's good. And then what we need to do is obviously, <laughs> although this guy looks very futuristic, we don't necessarily want him <laughs> and we need to replace him with somebody else. So here's kind of like the tricky part. All right. So here's that was the easy part. Now here's a little bit of a the tricky part because every character you get anywhere I guess is gonna have its own skeleton system similar to pretty much how this guy has his own skeletal system so everything you get all the characters are rigged kind of differently but luckily for Unreal Engine 4 majority of the stuff that you get from places they're already set for the UA4 mannequin which is brilliant so what we're gonna do is get a character from the marketplace like we used already and we are going to apply that animation to that character. So let's go ahead and grab one. And actually, I'm not going to go to the animations. I'm actually going to go to the mesh. And I'm going to grab, let's just grab one. I already used this person in the past. So let's go ahead and use this one. All right, so I'm going to grab this mesh right here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the animation from this guy. And we're going to put it to this girl. Now this in Unreal Engine 4 is called retargeting animation. All right, it's not rigging, but it's like retargeting animation. So if you want to know more about it, type that in the Google search and you'll find a lot more stuff about it. Okay, so like I said, here's kind of like the tricky part. If I take a look at this girl's skeleton, I'm going to double click right here in our skeletal mesh and I click skeleton right here. You're going to see that she kind of has her own thing. But like I said, majority of stuff you will get in the Epic Marketplace is already set up. And this girl looks like she's already set up. Because you can see right here, her rig is already set to a humanoid. So, the first thing you need to check with your character is to see if your character is already set up as a humanoid. Alright? Additionally, another thing that we have to make sure is... I'm going to go ahead and minimize this for now. We're going to grab the animation skeleton. Double click that. Go to the skeleton. We pretty much have to make sure that everything in this skeleton matches this skeleton. And I think I already saw one that changed. Root and pelvis. Okay, so if I go here, root and pelvis, but it's just, it looks like it's just uppercase and lowercase. So that should be okay. So... It's a humanoid here, it's a humanoid here, so we are good. Third thing that we have to make sure are the poses. They all have to be the same. So if I click on view pose here, nothing changes. This is the A pose because it looks like a letter A. If we go to the dummy and view the pose right here, also an A pose because it's not changing. Okay, so... As far as this goes, we should be able to marry both of these pretty nicely and easily. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Now, to get this animation to this person, all we have to do is retarget it. And to do that, if I go to the CC, I'm going to go to that animation, which is this, the walking in think. I'm going to right-click it, retarget animation asset. Duplicate animation asset and retarget. And now we're going to see that skeleton, which is this girl's skeleton. So I'm going to go click that. 
And as you can see, it matches A to A. Although the feet, I think, is a little bit wider here. So we might have to make it a little bit wider here. So let's go ahead and go back. And like I said, your model might look even more different than this. Okay, so I'm going to double click and I'm going to go ahead and go to my skeleton again, view pose, and I'm going to go pick that left leg right there or right leg. I'm going to go to the thigh and I'm going to go ahead and move it five degrees. I'm going to change the snap right here to five. Okay, so that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and move the other one as well to five. And now with this, you just have to really experiment here. And then what we'll do is we're going to go click Modify, Use to Current Post. So now if I go View Post, all right, so that's what it's going to be pulling from. So let's go minimize it. And then we're going to go back to that animation CC. This is the animation. We target Anim Assets, Duplicate, Female, we target. And then what that's going to do is it's actually going to copy and paste that animation to this robot. But it's still there. You don't lose it because what Unreal Engine 4 actually does is it creates a new animation. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one and I'm going to drag and drop it here and then press play. All right, and then I'm going to go over there. As you can see, it's matching it pretty well. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That is how you retarget animations in Unreal Engine 4 using some free animations that you get from ActorCore, uh, ActorCore's website here. Now, you don't have to do this every time if you get more because technically you can just download the animation and copy and paste it in Unreal Engine 4 and you can do the same thing. You're just gonna right click the animation that you just dragged and drop from this folder, retarget it to your skeleton, and you will have that animation there. Additionally, uh, like I've done previously, I'm showing you the play event, event begin play version, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the cinematics version as well. So let's create a sequencer, and I'm gonna grab this character, add track, add that, let's create a camera, change this to 24 FPS. And then what I'm gonna do is actually remove the animation here and I'm gonna show you how to do it in Sequencer. So if I go to that character, click animation here, I can actually, now all of these animation came with the character so we have to search for that. So it should be think and it's right there. Now if I press play, there you go. Now it's playing in actual sequencer, all right? And you can, oh, what happened there? You can pretty much, you know, it's a little bit short again, so we just have to extend the uh, play area here and extend this because the animation is actually pretty long there, okay? Let's go right here, extend it, and now it's gonna play the entire thing in the sequencer. So this is how you would do it if you were just to create a short film. But the event begin play is how you would create it if you're creating a video game. Well, guys, I hope you all learned something new today. Uh, if you haven't done so, go ahead and download these and keep it in your drive. Because this is some pretty good motion capture animations right here for free that you guys are missing out. I think you just have to sign up, but I already have an account with them. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.